Christians commemorating Good Friday on this day, the day Jesus was crucified. Many took part in Ways of the Cross processions. One went over the Brooklyn Bridge and into Lower Manhattan. Another on Long Island brought out caravans of buses from New York City, New Jersey, and Connecticut. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has more now from Manorville. This is a, a full day of, uh, of pilgrims coming through, yeah, so it's wonderful. It's estimated 6,000 people speaking a dozen languages flock to Our Lady of the Island in Manorville each Good Friday. And you guys come here every single year? Yes. The Lodicinas of Syosset. Something to instill in them, you know, value and tradition that they can use in their in their life. Today we do celebrate the, you know, the passion of the Lord and his gift of his life and his death on the cross. Jesus, the Stations of the Cross, or Way of the Cross, refers to a series of images depicting Jesus on the day of his crucifixion and the accompanying prayers. The spiritual pilgrimage imitates Via Della Rosa in Jerusalem, which is believed to be the actual path Jesus walked to Mount Calvary. Today I'm praying for my classmates. And in what way? For their safety? For their safety, yeah. The most somber part of the day came between noon and 3 p.m., known as the three hours of agony, commemorating the time Jesus spent on the cross. Later, some lighter moments, too. Recognition for who walked the farthest from a thousand parked cars. Passion place in full costume, near the tomb, for the youngest and oldest volunteers. Now I'm 83 and a half. That makes you the oldest yeah. volunteer. Here. Yeah, the stations of the cross here cover almost a half mile of hilly terrain. Thank you so much for taking us through the shrine. You're very welcome. Now you had mentioned you know Maurice Dubois? Yes, when he was an older boy at our church many years ago. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> a feeling of friendliness, togetherness, shared emotions of peace and awe, love and thanks on this special day. From Manorville, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.